I started to realize that having money was the way to, you know, always ensure stability in life. And so I never really wanted to spend it, always wanted to save it and of course grow it. And that just started to become my idea for financial literacy and improving my finances. It just save the money, but also figure out a way to grow it. My name is Terzel Ron. I am 25 years old. I make about $150,000 a year, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I also do some television production in terms of interviewing uh, cast members, things of that nature, and, and really booking people for digital initiatives, things that can perform really well on digital platforms. I actually recently covered Rolling Loud LA. I'll be covering the Sundance Film Festival very soon. So I do a lot of hosting and reporting as well as writing. So I do work every single day and I have been working every single day for probably five years now. I love it. I love having a strong work ethic. I feel like it's always taking steps towards what I want to be doing in the future, which is hosting a production. So my girlfriend and I have been together for four years. Outside of myself, she is the biggest hustler I know. She has her own fashion brand. I grew up in the South Bronx in New York City in a one bedroom apartment. My parents moved there from Guyana and I was about two years old when I started to live in New York and experience the culture. I grew up in a family of six and we were all illegal immigrants. So money was not something that we had a lot of access to and economically things were rough growing up. I started to really realize that school was the way to achieve more financial success later down the road. I moved between sophomore year and junior year. I did not want to go to a new high school and start all of my academic achievement all over again. Sometimes it was very hard in terms of eating, in terms of sleeping. I wouldn't end up leaving school until about 6 or 7 p.m. to get back home around 10. And I had to wake up at 5 to leave at 6 the next day. So all of the hustle paid off when I got a full academic scholarship to NYU. When I was there, I always knew that I wanted to be in television production Most of my expenses with my girlfriend are split 50-50, such as the rent, but we do take different bills. I'm more than happy to pay the entire balance. However, my girlfriend really insists on paying half. For my food budget, my girlfriend and I have a couple spots that we like to go to. It's not like we're going to a new spot to try out like a five-star restaurant or something like that. So my food budget is actually pretty simple, just groceries, Target, restaurants. I have a used 2018 Honda Civic. Being that I work from home, I don't have to use my car as often as a normal person. Whenever I'm hosting or interviewing somebody and I have to be at a specific place, that's when I spend the most on gas and that's when I use my car the most. I actually don't have my own health insurance. I am on my mom's plan until I'm 26. I have to pay for a lot of expenses out of pocket still because her insurance is not the best. Luckily, I have multiple reserves of money to pull from if needed. I don't like to necessarily splurge on anything, especially things for myself. But in terms of doing that for other people, I'm more than happy to buy someone like my brother a laptop if he needs it. If I were to splurge on anything, it would probably be travel tickets. But because I'm so passionate about what I do, I don't necessarily do many other things for fun. Growing up, I had a lot of health issues and so did my mom. And seeing 
these health issues really bothered me and made me realize the importance of having health insurance. I actually grew up missing a tooth uh, in front of my mouth until I was 18, until I was a freshman at NYU. And so I always wanted braces. My family never had money for braces. And I sort of realized that I needed to get that money myself. On top of the missing tooth, I had a condition called hyperhidrosis, scoliosis. I had you know, battles with uh, anxiety and depression. All of these conditions combined really made me insecure growing up. This really made me a workhorse. It made me develop an insane work ethic. I always had three jobs. I have three jobs today. And I wouldn't be where I am today without those sort of setbacks earlier on in life. Aside from you know my regular health expenses and dealing with all of the health conditions that I do have, mental health is something that is extremely important to me and it's something that I've taken numerous steps to uh, improve on. Therapy is something that I realized at NYU that could be really beneficial for me. I do spend about $150 a month on a therapist and make sure that I journal and get to you know the best, most optimal mental health space. So I would say that I save about four to six thousand dollars a month. I put a lot of that money into investments. Then I, you know, keep a, a couple in, in different accounts so that I don't get carried away and say, "Hey, this is a big number in one account." I do have a Roth IRA, and I also have a SEP IRA. I recently transferred my SEP funds to my Roth, but. I don't necessarily have a target for how much money I want by retirement. I just know that it's important to start saving for retirement even at the age of 25. So I do try to diversify my investments and not put all of my eggs in one basket in terms of investments. I do have money in cryptocurrency. I've invested, I'd say probably $10,000 in cryptocurrency that has more than quadrupled at this point. I have investments in Ethereum, Bitcoin, but also Chainlink and a bunch of other smaller coins. I'm very interested in seeing the future of cryptocurrency and seeing where it takes me. The most important lesson that I've learned about money is actually something that I've always known about money, which is save money and money will save you. I 1 million percent will not be Anything that I am without my parents, I have the greatest parents in the world. My parents have been together for 40 years and they've instilled in me the importance of working hard. And so for next year, I really am going to focus on real estate and I feel like it's very important for me to own property. My younger self would be very proud of me and actually I'm not surprised that I am where I am today because when I was 16, going through two and a half hours to get to school and eating once a day and even at that point, at 16, I wrote down by 25, I'll be making well over six figures. By 30, I'll be a millionaire. That's always been my goal. 